Hey, how you guys doing, man? Smoothly here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I know I'm having a good day. It's another blessed day out here in Las Vegas. It is a cold and windy day out here in Las Vegas. All of a sudden, it just seems like the cold weather just came on in really, really strong and just hit us, boom, all of a sudden. It is cold in the morning and it's cold at night. But I love it like this, especially the cold nights when you can wrap up with someone in that bed, keep each other warm. You guys know what I'm actually talking about. That's why I got to hit you guys with the autumn music there in the beginning of the video. But this is Grown Man Talk. Grown Man Talk. I always like to just say it like it is, put it out there. You know, I don't make my videos to really get anybody upset. I just make my videos talking about the things that me and my grown friends that we all talk about when we're having our conversation. If it's not about sports, you know, down with the Giants, man. Down with the damn Giants. But anyway, Yankees, you know, let, let, let me get off that New York stuff, man. But I want to say this, and this was a conversation that we had the other night while we were watching the Jets whoop the Giants, you know, whatever. This conversation was about, you know, us men, you know, we choose a woman to be with that's really going to represent us in the way that we want to be represented. Whether it's in the home or it's out in the street. And also, we choose a woman who's going to choose the right friends to really be around. Because, you know, a woman can tell you a lot about herself with the kind of friends that she really surround herself with, truly. Why am I talking about this? For a lot of you guys who are watching my videos, you know, most of you guys are watching my videos because, you know, we all have the same type of interest, you know, either we are married to a Filipino woman, dating a Filipino woman, or going to meet a Filipino woman, or, you know, a lot of guys are interested in, you know, going to the Philippines. So I'm not going to call that country anymore, but you guys are going to really know what I'm actually talking about here. You know, I know a lot of men, you know, when we get up into our 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know, a lot of us, we've been through a lot of things in life. And, you know, I know for me and the friends them that I really associated with is that, you know, we're going to look for a woman who's going to bring us a peace of mind. We want a peace of mind because, you know, when you get old, man, you don't want to have that drama crap around you. But I see, you know, this pattern where a lot of men, you know, when they travel overseas, they tend to go for these young, immature ladies, women who can be easily influenced by the simplest of things. Most of these guys are not choosing women who know things, who are experiencing things and can hold a decent and respectable conversation for a long time. I find it very confusing for me to be at my age to go with a woman that I'm trying to have a conversation with and she has no clue of what I'm talking about. I have a little daughter. Kids can be annoying. You love them, but they can be annoying. Of course, you know, I have to talk to my daughter like a little girl because she's a little girl. That's what you're supposed to do. But then when you get up to a certain age in life, why would you want to choose to be with a little child? in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Why you want to choose to be with a little child that you have to keep talking to her like a little child or you have to explain things to her so many times in order for her to get it? Now, I'm not saying all these girls are like this, but a lot of men are tending to choose these women from these province area who are in the worst of situation as far as monetary-wise and their living condition. Those are the type of women that most of these guys are choosing to be with. They're chasing these girls. And when they get them, they can easily influence them by just the way they're living. Because a lot of these girls never lived like that before. Nice home, nice apartment, constant electric in the home, constant hot water in the home. 
you have constant load on your cell phone, internet. You can watch as much Netflix as you want. They can post as much TikTok videos as they want. So it's a, it's a totally different lifestyle that now they're having. But just like you can easily influence these girls, do understand that they can be easily influenced, be easily influenced on the outside of the home. Because now they have constant social media. They can start posting as much videos as they want in their nice brand new Okai Okai store clothing that you, you bought for them. These sexy outfits and these sexy underwears. Now they are going to be getting attention from other men. Knowing that some of these men are going to be younger than you. Because the internet, we all know, it's worldwide. They're going to start getting the attention. They're going to start seeing the men who are sending them these pictures and stuff like that. And they're going to look at themselves and they're going to look at you. They're going to look at themselves again and they're going to look at you. And they're going to say, well, the good ones. The good ones are going to say, you know, I love the attention, but this man is good to me. But then you're going to have the ones them who are so easily influenced because now remember before you met them, they weren't getting these type of attention. Now they're getting the attention from all over the world from so many different guys. And they're going to see these guys. They're going to see the type of guys who are paying them attention. Now these are the kind of guys that they would have upon their posters in their home. Not us old friggin 50 something, 60 something, 70 something year old man. These girls don't dream of being with us. We're not their first choice. We're not. And I'm talking to you guys like I'm including myself in this conversation here. Truly, even though I'm married and I'm very happy with the choice that I made. I'm really, really happy. I got a grown, mature, upper 30-something-year-old woman that I'm happy with. You know, had to do a lot of training at first to kind of get her to understand the kind of man that I am and what I'm looking for in a woman. Worked out well for me. Worked out well for a lot of my friends. But just know now that for a lot of you guys who choose these women to represent you, when they turn on you and they start accepting the attentions that they're getting from the outside, you can't be mad at them for that. You can't be mad at them for that. Because you chose to be with those type of easily influenced women. Just know that. And why I'm saying this to you guys, I'm saying this to you guys because one of my boys on Sunday who was hanging out with us at the house. He's a newcomer to the um, to the group. He himself are the same type of men that we were talking about because he told us his story, what he was looking for. He saw this young hottie thing on Facebook. He started messaging this girl. You know, the, the, the communication between them was very sporadic because sometimes she don't have load. And when she get load, she's talking to him and he's talking to her. He starts sending her money so she can constantly get load. And he end up meeting that girl. He stayed over there for a while with her. And realized now that he's taking care of her, doing the things that he needs to do. Traveling here to the U.S., traveling back there to the Philippines. I mean, he can do that. He got some funds. But then he realized that this girl wasn't really into him like that. He wasn't her first choice because she started getting attention from other men around the world, men who were willing to travel to that country to meet her. Got his heart broke. Got his heart broken. So you guys have to be aware of the type of women that you guys are choose to be with, the type of women that you're choosing to want to represent you. And I know that's not important for a lot of you guys when you all get to a certain age, but just understand and know 
that when you choose a child, like mind, female, you are going to get childlike mind results. You guys know what it is with me, man. It is always peace and love. Peace and love. I'm out, man.